Hello everyone. So today we are going to rework on the skid marks system using uh, the inbuilt chaos wheel vehicle component. Uh, because last time when we work on the skid marks, we just created a custom logic to determine when the car is skidding. But now uh, I didn't know that at the moment, but there is an inbuilt way to determine the wheel state and whether it is skidding or not. So using that, I'm going to create the skid marks now. So it's more accurate actually than the system we had before. And for all four wheels, we would be having the skid marks. So yeah, let's see how to do that today. So I have already implemented a skidding skid mark system but here like this but the way it works is uh, it's uh, it's based on the logic that I have written I'm not really using the inbuilt functions that I can use to determine if the uh, wheels are skidding so Actually, there is an inbuilt function, a set of inbuilt functions that I can use in the chaos vehicle, wheeled vehicle movement system, movement component to determine if the wheel is skidding. I didn't knew that before when I implement this system, uh, but however, I noticed some guy had commented in the previous video that I implemented this git marks. Uh, this law, this is funny. You make 80% wrong, cast to vehicle moment component, get wheel state from there and add skits. Well, thank you for letting me know. So, we are going to try that. We are going to see if we can do that now. Um, vehicle moment component, get wheel, uh, the wheels are not here. We need to cast to oh we need to cast to chaos wheel vehicle moment compare okay so let's have it casted in the begin play and so we can use that variable we can save this casted value into a variable and use it so we don't have to cast it every time whenever we need to access the wheel data let's promote this to a variable chaos wheeled vehicle moment component that's pretty long name but now this is only for testing in the tick let's print and see if we can get the actual wheel state get wheel state oh we need to give the wheel index also mm. this value let's break it Oh, here we do have skidding. He's sleeping. What's the difference? I think when it when the wheel turns in the same location without moving. Right. So let's just print this skidding instead and see. So false means it's not skidding at the moment. Let's get some speed and do a handbreaker. You see, it becomes true. Okay, so we can actually use that. Um, but ooh, what's the zero index wheel in here? When you select the vehicle moment component, we have wheel setups. 
index 0 means physics will front left front right back left back right okay now i have skates only for back wheels so this is a skit back right skit back left similarly I'll have this is kit components. These are just uh, Ni Niagara systems. Nothing fancy. So, duplicate. Move to score the bottom view. Here. And this is front right. Bar, front left L, L. and so now how do we activate these skip marks at the moment? Yeah, it's just here. So let me just that that's not how we are going to activate this kit D. now in the tick let me do the rock node here and collapse this part oh no uh, yeah collapse this part into a function right then mm, well it's not really necessary to check this in the tick itself maybe just a timer is enough but let's just implement the function first and then see how to optimize it so zero means as i said before front left so fl and we need to activate it uh, i'm not sure what happens if we call activate again when it is already active so yeah, let's just test and see. If we shouldn't do that, let's do something about that later. Uh, branch. If it is skinny, let's activate. Otherwise, deactivate. Right now, that's for front view. Mm. We can make a macro here. So that we can use the same code for all three wheels. Select this so we wouldn't have any additional things any more than we need. Deselect this, 
collapse to macro so check again i'll just use m to say that's a macro where we don't really need two outputs let me remove one and this one will index and skip effects right we don't need a return order for this function oh, oh with the having one I would not hurt Okay, so now I delete that. Will index zero. Similarly, we need D. We need to check will index one, which is front right wheel, and for back wheels. Will index two and will index three. Back left. Back right. Okay. Now let's test and see what happens. works better than with actually but it skips always why is that that's a bit too much but we Get more accurate skip marks, nevertheless. How to reset this? Mm -hmm. Alright, we have this uh, skip magnitude. Um, What kind of a value we may be getting there? Let's print that. And see. So, to make it easier for testing, I will only do that for, for only one way. Why do I see hello? Didn't I? Sorry, I have connected the duration. I should connect to the string. Okay, now let's see. Oh. So it can go like hundred or five hundred, okay. Okay, nice. So mm, we can let me put this print aside now if it is skidding we can check the skid magnitude 
see if it is greater than let's say 400 we can do an and not really we could do an and but we can also do this have another branch Uh, the reason I didn't use and here I'm not sure what the value would be if it is not a std it should be zero logically <laughs> yeah it has to be zero yeah it was zero we just saw that now when I put 400 only if it that's not oh wait it was negative so we should use absolute value yeah and check for all the weights yeah that's better. See, these marks are better. Okay. So Now we will have a way to define the threshold. We can promote this to a variable. Skid threshold. By default, it's 400. So you can adjust it to any value you need. And one more thing. If you don't, if you are, if you don't want to leave this in the tick we can do this uh, timer set timer by function name function name is check skitty and time maybe just 3.3 second 3.2 second and it has to be low enough i think that frequency should be enough let's see yeah that's enough so we can save some um, performance all right so with that i'm going to stop this episode and as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link could be in the description below and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode Goodbye.